if you are not enlightened, <laughs> then you might as well be dead. All these lights and cameras just flash, they just flash up. Ain't got no time for talking, just action, just action. Welcome back, my friends. And everything I do is with a passion. To another edition of my vlog, I gotta give a shout out. I gotta give a shout out to Jimmy Kendrick, the producer of this track, one of my theme songs from over the years. Richie P and Tali Chinky from COD, GS9, from the 90s in Brooklyn, New York. Good looking on this one, guys. Kali Kinchi was the mastermind behind it. And it's been great ever since. Uh, I appreciate it. That's right, they're mad, my friend. <laughs> Unbelievable. Welcome, my friends, to a, another quick edition of my, uh, you know, embassy forever tube vlog all right i i'm not gonna be uh coming on here every single day but i'm gonna try and and come on uh strong for the next couple of weeks just to get you guys you know uh up to breast you know get you guys entertained while we're all quarantined during this covid 19 scare going on all throughout the world all right if anyone out there is going through anything all right um uh, dealing with the covid 19 situation all right my thoughts and my prayers out to you all right uh keep the positivity going all right there's nothing else to do but try to be positive all right try to follow the guidelines try to help your neighbors and try to help your friends all right this is the time for us all to reflect on who we are as individuals and who we can be uh as a community all right i know uh, you know, we can all be selfish and we all want to start getting back on the road so we can build our wealthy lifestyles and so on and so forth. But to be honest with you, it doesn't matter. All right. It doesn't matter when it comes down to pandemics and plagues and stuff like that. But I want to thank you all for coming and, and checking out my show. It very successful first vlog. All right. That I put up the last time. I want to thank all of the 43 uh listeners who came and and checked out my vlog all right it's it's very special and it's very important and i thank you for stopping by to support prince nana all right i i just posted on my twitter I've, you know this must be my um 26th year uh being in the pro wrestling business and and i can tell you right now i would not change a, a second of it not one second of of uh, my experiences in the pro wrestling business, would I change uh, for anything? I mean, you know, uh, if if just if there was something that I did want to change, it was probably the um, the ignorance, all right, from some people. But hey, that's life, all right, that's life. And and that just leads me uh, to to a question that someone had asked me, one of my friends, all right, one of my um, you know one of my friends' friends. Uh, who was interested in getting in pro wrestling? He was all geared up, ready to do it. All right, he he was you know uh, was working at the um you know at the uh, Barnes and Nobles. All right, on Sixth Avenue in Manhattan. All right, he was scrubbing the bathrooms down. All right, he was scrubbing it down, saving every piece of his allowance to to find a wrestling school to start getting involved all right and and he did get involved and he started and then boom all of this stuff happened so a lot of his you know uh integrity and a lot of his uh you know prowess and and, and a lot of the uh you know what is the word that i'm looking for all right a lot of his 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 ego all right had been shut down uh since all the independent companies are closed nobody is able to travel no one is able to go on the road and nobody is able to uh participate in in open gym sessions with more than five people okay so it's very very hard to get involved stay involved and get your name out there so i understand all right where 
you know, the frustration can come in. So the question was how how can can somebody make it in the wrestling business in 2020, okay? And, and you know, I've been in the wrestling business for 26 years. I've been through the ups and downs, hirings, the firings, long contracts, short contracts, all of that, all right? Independent, you know, independent scene, all right? All of it. I've been there and I've done it at a top, top level. And, and the main reason why I was able to do it at a top, top level is because pro wrestling is all I ever wanted to do. Okay. Yes, I did a lot of things. All right. I did a lot of things. All right. But I never hated my friends. All right. Just remember that I did a lot of things, but I never hated. And another thing that I did was I always liked to get involved in, in other businesses, or I learn, okay, how to build things, do things that people, you know, wouldn't normally do with money, so on and so forth. So thank God for that. Thank God I have a family that helps me to, you know, mm -hmm. kind of see the light at the un end of the tunnel in case, you know, the whole wrestling thing doesn't work out. But in my heart, the wrestling thing had to work out. So that's pretty much why I was, you know, in my opinion, why I was able to, um, uh, you know, see stardom, you know, experience it, train at it, um, you know, see who was real, see who was fake is because, you know, in my heart, I knew that I would withstand the test of time. And if you believe, okay, if you believe that is the number one step, all right, that is the number one step to to get into your goal okay but outside of the believing part all right people have to understand you have to implement seeds all right you have to plant seeds and you have to water them all right and you have to make sure it has you know proper sunlight all right for it to grow and become a great big tree okay um you know it, it, there's no way around it and and one of the main things that i always recommend to guys all right right now in 2020 during the quarantine is to get yourself okay physically where you want to be when the rings start to open up okay you don't want to wait all right you know for september to come and then say oh shoot you know they're gonna be lifting the restrictions with the corona thing all right i need to you know start working out okay one month before a possible show no all right if this is really what you want to do all right during this quarantine all right, this is the time to maybe try working out a little bit harder, all right? Try eating, all right, a lot more food so you can maybe gain weight. Don't eat crazy foods that's going to make you sick, but maybe you need to eat more chicken, protein, so on and so forth, you know, drinking some milk or whatever it is that will help you gain the weight while you're working out in your house, okay? And really try to get your body where you want it to be by the time you make your your debut back into the wrestling business when it when it all opens up after this covid scare so on and so forth okay so you know that's one of the number one things okay the number one things that you have to focus on how you want your body to look do you want to be skinny do you want to be a fat slab do you want to be a in between you know, uh, you know, a spaghetti string, whatever it is that you want your body to look like and how you want to portray yourself as the entertaining wrestler. That's what I, I, I um, want you to work on. All right. Try to work on that. All right. Try to focus on it. Make sure that, uh, you know, when you're creating your, your, your tights, that your tights fit you. All right. You can be skinny. All right, you can be skinny as a broomstick. All right, but if your gear is hanging off of you, that is going to check you off of the checklist right off of the bat. Okay, but if your gear 
all right if your gear is nice and nicely fitted and it's looking good on you all right and that's how you feel comfortable as a wrestler all right who is skilled and trained and so on and so forth then so be it all right nobody should tell you what you should look like nobody should tell you oh do this do that do what you have to do gain the strength that you need uh in order to put on a great show and to uh be the 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 wrestler that they're behind or the wrestler that they don't want to see again okay so you know you want to make sure you work on that body but you know number two all right i think i'm at number two or i might be at number three i'm not sure but i'm gonna say i'm at number two right now but you know number two is you know really finding out who okay in in the wrestling business you you know that has been around all right that has you know gone up and down on the independent scene okay maybe they have done some stuff with with oh oh my god my my chicken legs my chicken legs are ready i can't wait i can't wait all right but you you might know somebody all right that uh has been on the road who might have done some things with AEW don't you know or, or WWE whatever the case may be but you need to be genuine all right you don't need to just be calling people calling this one and that one oh you think hey you think there's gonna be a day oh hey man I just wanted to say hello and say how are you doing no 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 all right the, the only time I think I ever maybe got through to somebody or wanted to talk to somebody about helping me get into a a, a pro wrestling company or something like that was probably in person, all right? The only other people that I really inbox, okay, and, and maybe send a, a, an actual message to are people that I consider my friends, all right? And you should have uh, a few of those friends in your, in, your, um, in your Rolodex that you really consider, all right, your homeboys, all right, that it's not only about wrestling. It's also about, you know, helping each other, letting each other realize uh, where they can be, what the potential is, what it, the potential isn't, all right, so on and so forth, all right? And once you have that general connection with, you know, it could be with a hundred people, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying that, you know, you, you shouldn't have relationships with people, but if your relationships are genuine and people feel that you deserve a, 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 a chance to um, be recommended, all right, then so be it, all right? But that happens through, uh, you know, dealing with the right people, going to the right wrestling schools. Like in New York, some of the top wrestling schools include World of Unpredictable Wrestling, Johnny Rods. You have House of Glory, all right? The Amazing Red and Brian Excel. You have NYWC, Mikey Whipwreck and Wayne. You have Create a pro, all right? You have a whole bunch of great pro wrestling schools with great individuals who train very hard throughout their career to pass the knowledge on. So why would anyone want to just train with a so-so and so and not really have the, 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 the um, training of a fully credentialed pro wrestler like you know, Kurt Hawkins, all right, or 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 or, or, or Loki, or AR Fox, so on and so forth. All right, so get your minds right. Make sure you focus. Make sure you know who you're speaking to. All right, you don't want to be speaking to the uh, you know the the people that are doing uh, main events in, you know, the backyard of a chicken farm. I mean, those events are nice also, but do you want to be on those type of events? No. So you need to be in, in, in the presence of people who you, uh, want to be like, all right, who you admire and who you genuinely want to help also. Okay. Cause believe it or not, even though you are not signed or, or something of that nature, you, you have something to bring to the table, all right? Uh, you, we may not know or, or you may not know what it is initially when you are, you know, uh, dealing with somebody. But trust me, if someone is bringing you into their situation or into their school, all right, they 
you know, they basically have the idea that you can eventually be someone. Yes, it's a business, but you know, they, they can also say no as well. So, so, you know, make sure you connect yourselves all right, with the right individuals and the right schools, okay? And you train for a good amount of time to really understand that this is a very hard, hard business to get into, all right? It's been way too many times where I've seen, you know, young individuals get into the wrestling business, get up there really fast, burn out, and then next thing you know, they hate the wrestling business. They've already been to WWE. They were there for three years. Then they're bashing everybody. They're cussing everyone out. This person did this to me. That person did that to me. When the only person to blame is yourself, okay? So that is something you want to take very, very serious is who you connect with and making sure that you're in the right situation schooling wise some other things that you can do during the quarantine all right real quick before i go promos 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 all right go into the bathroom do a promo in the in, in the mirror go down to you know uh, you know if you're having some sort of a ig challenge go on ig social media is a big big platform to showcase yourself these days as a performer period but in the pro wrestling business it's really really the top platform to kind of show off your skills and so on and so forth you know a matter of fact let me go on facebook real quick earlier in the day i posted something on here and man i had some really really funny funny responses so i just want to get to a couple of these responses uh, before i just give you guys the um, cherry on top of the cake to kind of give you a basic rundown of what you need to do. Okay, so I, I got a, a question from a friend. How does one get into the wrestling business in 2020 asking for a friend? I posted that on Facebook and man, I got a whole bunch of funny, funny responses. I have uh, some responses from Dan Bynum, my good friend. He says, ha, step one, get a webcam. Very true. All right. You need to start recording yourself ASAP, all right? Whether it's with your phone, whether it's with some sort of other device, but you need to start getting that going ASAP. My friend Francis Ramirez, he wrote on my wall, tell them to get WWE 2K and create a play. <laughs> That's hilarious, my friend. You know, most of you guys can learn a lot from the WWE video games because from the videos that I've seen, complete, complete doo-doo, my friend. All right, you guys need to train a little bit more, train a little bit harder, all right? You need to be focused, all right? The first five years of your career in pro wrestling need to be focused on training. Don't focus on getting into the spotlight after your first two years because if that's the type of person you are, yeah, there's people who get on quicker than others, but just make sure you own the craft before you start going crazy, all right? Uh, Ernie, my good friend, Annie, all right? Ernesto Osiris, all right? It's good to always hear from, he said, start sending uh, the WWE promos from your bathroom and matches with your sofa and pillows. <laughs> <laughs> Annie, you, you 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 always know how you always know how to get me laughing, Annie. All right, that's one thing. All right, we're gonna talk soon and have a steak. Jason Perry, my good 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 friend from maybe twenty years ago from the Gleason's gym. He wrote, "Oh wow, guys, guys learn how to slap their legs every move, and then they'll get a contract in no time." That's very very true. You know, I, I know that that's something that's been added in very, very like thoroughly over the last few years, but I, I feel like it's fading back out. You know, I think the, 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 the actual fighters are coming back into pro wrestling, the brawlers like myself, uh, low key, a homicide, Samoa Joe. Uh, so I think that time is coming back and I can't wait for it, but you know, pretty, pretty amazing. Wait, let me do this before my food gets ruined in here i have some food on the in the oven oh man this quarantine has me cooking i've been cooking uh chicken alfredo i've been cooking spaghetti i've been cooking jet chicken hey i've been cooking all sorts of things all right goat water all right that goat water is so good all right when you have the goat water and you're just drinking it so nice all right but one of my favorite things to, to get all right, which I'm eating tonight, all right? I'm actually mixing it up in the oven as we speak. 
just to make sure it's a little well all right is the boston market all right the boston market make it at home meals delicious all right some of the best food that you can eat all right make sure you pick it up all right it's from boston market frozen food all right it's good for the quarantine all right but getting back to to some of the things people said uh that uh you need to do in 2020 to uh make it in the wrestling business my friend dave what, what did dave marquez write oh <laughs> dave from nwa he wrote start an ig twitter and say silly things you know that's the biggest biggest like crazy thing in 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 i guess entertainment now all right and and they call it clout chasing all right it's okay you know it's okay if you're going to do it do it in a way where nobody's gonna get hurt you know what i mean nobody's gonna get hurt no one is gonna say some racist things to make people upset so on and so forth let's just like keep it really like classy you know you know my friends like there's no need there's no need to really like try and 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 just say hateful things to make people cry so you can get likes or you can get people watching your videos all right that's not how you're gonna make it in the wrestling business in 2020 and and, and i have a whole whole bunch of other things that people wrote over here hilarious oh my bobby g i'm not even gonna go there what you wrote <laughs> Someone wrote kick in the fucking door. Hey, that too, but the door's gonna be closed for a while with the corona thing going on. All right. So, you know, like I said, you have to in this time work on your body. All right. Know what you want to look like. All right. Know what you want to look like in the wrestling business. All right. Make sure you align yourself. All right. Over the next few months with someone you can share your vision with all right someone who has more experience in the wrestling business than you and now when i say more experience i'm not talking two shows where they got hit over the head with a chair and they're the new champion all right laying on the street i'm not talking about that i'm talking about seasoned veterans like my good friend papa dan all right people who have been around all right all right, like Xavier, Mr. John Walters, you need to reach out to these people seriously, not as a fan, all right, but seriously as someone who needs help getting into the wrestling business and you need to pick their brain. But don't go to, to these people and, and, and just think that, you know, uh, everything is free, all right? You need to go in with a serious attitude knowing that it's a business, okay? And I don't want to get into the logistics of what I mean by that, but we're all grown individuals and we know, all right, that we all have bills to pay and the game is to be sold, not told, all right? The other thing that I spoke about, doing promos, all right? Getting your promo skills together, all right? Doing it in the bathroom, having your friend record it, all right? Doing it on Snapchat, doing it on TikTok, all right? Doing silly things, all right, without being too crazy and offensive. But social media is your friend. Get out there. Show us your face. All right. Put your promos online. Good and bad. Okay. Because when you start out bad, all you can do is get good. But if you start out good and start getting bad, it's because you're not taking the time to focus and be positive. All right. The name of the, the game is being positive. All right. And, and focusing. All right. Uh, last but not least the wrestling part of it i said this before all right the wrestling part of it has to be mastered all right when i started in the wrestling business in 1996 all right i was a very very young boy it was 1995 actually i started as a photographer all right as a photographer for johnny rods and his whole team it was divan dudley the Spanish Angel who went by the Spanish Angel, the Baldi and ECW and a whole host of other guys. Forget I can go on the list down, down, down and so on and so forth. But, you know, this is, you know, the the epiphany. All right. Of what you need to to do. Train. All right. I started young. I didn't actually have my first real match to maybe 
five or six years later, all right, during the times that I wasn't able to actually wrestle officially, I was doing all of the school shows, I was doing photography, I was putting the program together, I was learning every aspect of the wrestling business, doing rings, putting the rings up, putting it down, being on the road with, um, you know, uh, thank God, one of my, tra my trainers, Angel, brought me on the road, all right, not even on the road, but he brought me to a few shows with ECW to help me experience what it is that I was getting into, and I've always been greatly appreciative of that, okay, but this is what you need to do, focus on who you want yourself to be. Don't just jump in here, my friends. This business is very, very, very difficult to get into, okay? And if you think it was difficult before the quarantine, all right, wait till you see how difficult it is after the quarantine. But the name of the game is positivity, okay? Consistency, all right? And knowing that you can make it, my friends, all right? I want to thank you so much for joining me, all right? Subscribe to my channel, all right? If this is your first time listening to me, hey, this isn't going to be a regular, you know, format. I, I'm doing this from my heart, all right? I'm trying to entertain you guys, all right? And I want you guys to be happy, and I want you to understand how much I love the wrestling business and how, I love, how much I love sharing my stories about being in the wrestling business and sharing with people how they can be a part of it as well and also the entertainment business all right so make sure you subscribe if you're new to my channel all right my fans please leave a comment tell me what you think of this particular um uh, vlog and i will see you guys very very soon have a good one <laughs> Focus in my lane, there's no lacking. Ain't from the West, but get it cracking. Crack, I'll do this here.